As the Ukrainian-Russian war continues, to the surprise of many, the private space sector began to take an active part in it. On August 18, 2022, Sergei Pritula Charity Foundation purchased a commercial satellite from ISI company. In this video, I will try to explain why does Ukraine need a commercial satellite and how it will help in the war against Russia. ISI has a constellation of 21 satellites equipped with Synthetic Aperture Radars, or SAR. They are capable of receiving images of the Earth's surface with a resolution of up to 25 cm. At the same time, unlike traditional optical satellites, devices with such radars can take pictures under any weather conditions and any time of day. They are able to break through clouds, smoke, ash, and even vegetation. But let's put the chronology back in order. A few weeks ago, Sergei Pretula, founder of the Ukrainian Charity Foundation, announced the launch of the so-called People's Bayraktar project, which had a goal of raising 50 million Ukrainian hryvnias in a week to purchase three Bayraktar TB2 Turkish drones for the needs of the Ukrainian army. In just three days, ordinary Ukrainians and businesses raised 20 million US dollars for four Bayraktars instead of three. Turkish defense company Baikar Makina learned about the drone fundraiser and refused to accept payment. The manufacturer decided to transfer three Bayraktars to Ukraine completely free. The Turkish company asked to spend raised money to help the people of Ukraine in the fight against Russia. So, after consultation with the Ukrainian Ministry of Defense, the foundation decided to spend the collected funds on the purchase of an ISI satellite which will help to get critical Earth observation data that possibly will greatly benefit Ukrainian forces. ISI is a Finnish macro-satellite manufacturer. Satellite Constellation offers reliable access to high-revisit synthetic aperture radar data for the persisting monitoring of large and small areas every few hours in any weather. The company claims that its constellation of small and agile radar satellites unlocks unprecedented access to through data on any location on Earth, day and night, in any weather, and multiple times per day. Before we move on, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that like button. Oleksiy Reznikov, Minister of Defense of Ukraine, said that the Ukrainian Defense Forces have acquired qualitatively new abilities thanks to people's satellite. The head of the Defense Ministry stressed that now the Defense Intelligence, the Armed Forces of Ukraine, and other components of the Defense Forces will have at their disposal data from the satellite constellation of the ISI company. This will help to defeat the enemy much more effectively and quickly expel it from Ukrainian soil, saving the life of our soldiers and civilians. When determining the priorities of defense, we proceed from the fact that we will not defeat the enemy at the expense of quantity, but only at the expense of quality. Therefore, the main task is to create qualitative superiority of the Ukrainian army over the enemy. The specialists of the Defense Ministry, together with the General Staff of Armed Forces and the Defense Intelligence, have analyzed the situation in detail and determined the best option that will allow our army to reach a new level, said the minister. He also stressed that Ukrainians managed to first purchase one satellite that used ACR technology. This satellite will provide the opportunity to receive data in the interest of the Ukrainian Defense Forces 24-7. And buying satellite is not an exaggeration. It will transmit the information as long as it physically exists and perform its functions. Secondly, a constellation of satellites has been acquired, and Ukrainian military will be able to use the database of their images within a year. Third, the transmission of new images will be organized in such a way that data are received as quickly as possible, so the Ukrainian army will begin to receive information that was never available before, and it will do it quickly when it is necessary and from where it is necessary. In addition, Defense Ministry receive intelligence from Western partners, which will also remain an important component of their awareness and this combination will improve the decision-making quality.
the general staff and military intelligence have defined the technical requirements for satellite technology that we would like to use for the needs of our army. When analyzing specific offers on the market, it was found that the capabilities of ISI satellites are simply amazing, and that is what we need. Our military and intelligence are very pleased with this acquisition, said the minister. Indeed, the combination of high-quality intelligence from satellites and high-precision weapons does create new possibilities. For example, now every high Mars M270 MLRS and Mars 2, as well as every cannon and howitzer with high-precision projectiles, are able to more effectively destroy the enemy. From now on, Ukraine has its own satellite, and it is Ukrainian side that determines what and when it will monitor, as well as in what format and spectrum it will receive data. Data transmission directly to military on the front line will be carried out thanks to Starlink terminals, which were sent by Elon Musk after a request from the Ukrainian government. The acquired satellite is already in orbit, and the images are immediately analyzed and used for their intended purpose. It works over the territory of Ukraine exclusively to achieve the goals and objectives of the Ukrainian army. At a time when a satellite is not over the territory of Ukraine, the country can receive data through access of the constellation of SAR satellites, and the access is guaranteed. According to the contract, the satellite insured by ISI, so in the event of technical failure, the seller undertakes to provide the Ukrainian side with an identical satellite. Now let's take a look at the capabilities of Russian spy satellites. According to experts and open source information, Russia has long been settled with a small and inadequate fleet of communication and surveillance satellites that in many cases rely on either outdated technology or imported parts that are now harder to come by due to Western sanctions. Russia now has only two optical reconnaissance satellites in orbit, called Persona latest which was launched in 2015. The satellite has an active life of 7 years, so it may not be usable by the end of this year. Adding further to the problem, the maximum resolution of the Persona satellites is believed to be 33 cm per pixel. By comparison, ISI satellites have a resolution of 25 cm, and the best American spy satellites, called Keyhole, are estimated to have a resolution of around 6 cm per pixel. Russia has also lagged behind in building and deploying remote sensing satellites whose radar can see through clouds cover, unlike optical satellites. Another problem is data processing. According to Pavel Podvik, an expert on Russian armed forces. It is one thing to have satellites, it's another thing to be able to use them. You need a system that will allow you to quickly transfer information from satellites to the right people who will process it and transfer it to people responsible, for example, for target designation. I don't see any evidence that Russia is successfully solving this task in the war with Ukraine, said the expert. How are Russian troops going to cope with ISI satellites? The command of the Russian armed forces, fearing the active use of the satellite, released a special manual for their soldiers. They are encouraged to use only trusted sources of information, namely Russian, and unlimit the use of the Internet. In addition, the command of the Russian armed forces requires its subordinates to better discuss combat equipment in order to make it more difficult for the satellites to detect it. Russian servicemen are also instructed not to allow the accumulation of personnel in one place and to control the work of electronic warfare systems. Like Starlink, this technology is a purely civilian means of surveillance, but in skill hands the control of ISI satellites can become a very effective tool for the armed forces of Ukraine. The recent increase in bombardments of Russian ammunition depots can serve as proof of this.